What does it mean to you to have a big part in this new era for Kiddie Minister Javier's? Well, being a kiddie for five years, it was a, like, I found it quite, not intimidating, but there was a lot of competition coming into this season. Um, so it was really time to kind of get my head down and, and focus and make sure I secure a position in the squad. Um, so, you know, when, when I told I was officially getting retained, it, it meant the world to me because, you know, when you've been at a club for so long um, and you have new players come over, new management, you know, you don't want to be, you don't want to go, you don't want to leave. So it, it meant a lot to me. How did that conversation go? Like, um, did Andy just point you to one side? Did you have a, a kind of like a, an idea that you was going to stay? How, how did it kind of go? Last um, few weeks? It was kind of, it was a bit quiet at first. First few weeks, it was just getting into training. Uh, I know Andy had a lot, and the coaches had a lot of players to look at, and um, you know, so it was it was a bit slow at first, but but we got there, and you know, he he, he said you you've really proven yourself, and. Um, yeah. Good. What were your first thoughts of um, Andy Fisher? Obviously, he's a big name in women's football. Um, mm. He came in, um, obviously, as, as a manager, and now he's brought in a lot of quality players as well. Mm. What were your thoughts when you found out that Andy was going to be the manager? I was buzzing. I was absolutely buzzing. He's a. Uh, I, I, I've known Andy for a few years. Not, uh, you know, we've had a few interactions, and you know, I've played against Salbridge a couple of times, and um, always got along with him. Um, but you know, from you know the proofs in in yeah. what he's done previous, you know, it, the only there's only positives come out of Andy and the, all the coaches and, and the players as well. Some of the players that have come over are just absolutely brilliant. Not even not even just technically on the pitch, just work rate, uh, personalities. You know, it's, it it's, it feels like a family already, and that's that's good. That's good to know. Yeah, as one of the longest serving players at the club. Do you feel something different going into this season compared to the others regarding the positivity and the buzz on social media and um, just going into this new season? 100%. God, it makes me feel old. <laughs> Longest serving player. It makes me feel old. I'm only 24. <laughs> I keep saying, I'm 24. Um, yeah, I mean, this this season feels, it does feel different. There's, there's a different buzz in the air, you know. Uh, the media, the kit reveals. Um, you know the, all the all the signings, the coaches, management, people like you know yourself. It it really feels like all we need is just one yeah. one last thing. Um, but yeah, it, it it feels different. That's good. Good to know. Um, there's likely to be a few new fans this season watching you. Um, for those of you, who, for those of them who don't know you, what's your background with Kitty Harriers and what's your kind of um, role in the team, what, what, what positions do you play, um, what can they expect to see of you? So, I'm I'm a midfielder, holding midfielder. Um, I've been injured a lot. So I have been at the club for five, five. I think I was 18, now I'm 24 now, so six years. But um, for a good three, three, three years I have been injured. So, you know, we say longest serving, I am. I've been around and I know the club, I know um, but you know, in terms of game time and you know everything else, I'm I'm still quite I'm still finding my feet. I'm consistent. I work hard. Uh, just like to be in the middle of the park and, and make a difference when I can. Excellent. Yeah. Now, so going into this season, you mentioned already competition for places is strong. Mm. The squad depth is looking healthy. Mm. Is this a title winning squad? <laughs> um. I mean, it's early. You can't. You know. You never want to. Go into a season and say, you know, we're we're guaranteed to to promote. Um, but I think that is that's what One we should be doing. Yeah. I think Kidderminster Harriers as a club, as a women's club, has been through ups and downs. Um, and if any time was the time, it's it's this season. So, you know, I, well, of course, I want to say yes. Like, yeah. you know, promotion is is what we will get. Winning the title is what we're going to do. But um, I think the biggest, the main thing is just make sure we all come together as a family, as a team. Um, you know, Andy's first season and all the, like the coach's first season here. Um, it will be, to, even to finish in the top three, yeah. will be a big achievement again. 
Um, but yeah, winning the title so it feels like such a long time coming, but that, that's the plan. Absolutely, bearing in mind that you finished seventh last year, I think, you know, mm. like you say, top three is mm. something that should be on, on, on your mind, of course. Mm. Uh, and finally, to the fans who are excited on social media already, and to the ones who attend the games throughout this season, what can they expect to see on a match day? It's different. Um, a lot of football being played. You know, I know it's easy to mm -hmm. say, you know, you come to a lot of games um, and... You know, sometimes you get games where you, you, know, you don't see a lot of football being played, yeah. not passing the ball out from the yeah. back. Um, that's what you'll see when you come down to Kiddy okay. this season. A lot of playing out from the back, um, you know, a lot of positive play. Um, you know, everything everything that you come to watch a game, that's that's what you'll get. A lot of goals, hopefully. Um, it, it will be different.